If you've got a GoPro Hero 8 Black like this, you can now use it as a webcam on your Mac or Windows. And it's really easy to do. First up, you do need to upgrade the firmware we're on here and you can do that using the app on your phone or whatever device you have that connects to it. It's got a USB-C cable that connects to here, but you do need to put some software here on the computer. And I've got the links for that below. And it works on Mac and Windows and it's really great. So then all you need to do is to switch on the GoPro, plug it in and away you go. And you can use it on things like Zoom. Now I have tried this on other things. I just tried it on Teams and Skype and it didn't seem to connect, but Zoom is very popular and you can use it with other things as well. So I tried it with Wirecast, which I use for live streaming. So that worked really, really well. Now, if you've got enough power coming out of your USB-C here or USB, you can actually also charge it at the same time. So that's really useful, particularly if you know it's gonna be running for a long time. So the good thing is, is when it's connected, I can see up at the top here, there's a little GoPro app in my menu up here, and you can see it's got a little blue little dot there telling me that it's connected. Now, if I'm using Zoom, which I am doing here, I can now go down to here where it says stop video. So I've just got to float over if it's not showing up and I can change it if I click here to my GoPro webcam. You can see I've got an EOS webcam utility as well for connecting my camera, my Canon camera. And I'm gonna show you something about that in the next video. So let's just choose GoPro webcam. By the way, all the instructions for connecting up to the GoPro are all on their website. And I'm not gonna show you that here because it could change and it's also very possibly depending on whether you're using Mac or Windows, but it's really straightforward to follow on there. So why would you want to use this as a webcam? Well, unlike possibly the webcam on your computer, you can now change the height. I've got this on a, a gorilla pod here and you know I could have it on a tripod or something. You could clip it on if you've got the right accessories onto your computer here or just put it somewhere else. So the good thing is, is I can change the angle. Now, if I go into my utility up at the top here, the GoPro, you can see one, the color has changed to it. It's not the blue dot anymore. That's the one that's being used. And I can go to digital lens. Now you can see it's got narrow lens. I can go to wide lens and you can see it changes. It takes a moment to change. There you go. And you can see I've got my microphone and a few other things around here as well. And I can now change that again to the linear lens. So yeah, there is a slight delay, but that's okay, because it will catch up with me. You probably wouldn't be changing the lens as you go during the middle of a meeting. And if I go back to here, the narrow lens is probably the most flattering if you're looking at yourself. So that will change in a moment. So this is really good. Now, the good thing is, is because it's on a USB cable, I could move it away from here. So if I want to teach something such as cooking or maybe how to use an instrument, musical instrument, photography, you name it, dancing, you can now use this camera as another camera and get a better angle as well. So you could get it in close, you could use the wide angle to be further away if perhaps you're teaching dance or something like that. You can now also switch cameras as you saw me do because I could now go from my built-in webcam, the FaceTime HD camera, and then I can switch it back to here. So you can actually give an experience of showing different things. Now in my next video, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna connect up my Canon camera as well and show you how I've got that, the webcam, and also the GoPro and how you can get a good experience by teaching with that. So you can actually also use a longer cable like this one, it's from Tether Tools. This one's about 15 feet, four and a half meters. So you could get quite a distance from it as well. Thanks for watching. If you did find this useful, do like, subscribe and share. And as I said, in a moment, I'm gonna show you how you can use this to use it as like a multi-camera experience using your Canon camera, if it's compatible, your webcam and your GoPro. Thanks for watching.